Okay. <clears throat> so the house is almost done. There's a few things we need still, like uh, these finishing touches with uh, like panels here, here, possibly here as well, if you like. Um, and to do that, uh, we can just use cubes. Uh, the only problem is getting them placed correctly. So if I do a cube, and I'll just uh, make that a little longer, like so, move it out here. So I, I, I would like to place it along this line here, for instance. So I grab my move tool, and I hold the C key, and then middle mouse button click drag on this line here. So you can see now it snaps to that curve there. And then to line that up, I can do uh, this. This is the front view. And I go to my rotate tool and I rotate it until it lines up. That is probably around there. Then I go to uh, the front view and um, just go to this. And then I rotate it on the outer circle here until it lines up. There we go. So that looks more or less like what I wanted it to. Right? So I can just scale that down. And scale it a little longer. Like so. Maybe a little more down. And then scale it a little longer again. So it's just a little bit of working back and forth. Okay. So if I double click my uh, translation tools over here you can see there's a different way of moving it. So this is in world space. So uh, essentially my arrows are all oriented uh, in the world space directions, which can be a little difficult. If I want to slide this thing up and down, it, it, it doesn't quite work. Uh, or I can set it to, for instance, uh, object space. So now you can see it's, it's oriented along the object, and I can then place it, and I can then scale it up until it sort of fits what I need here, maybe move it down a little bit, scale it up a little bit, and I can also hold the control key and scale this, so I'll just make this thinner or thicker, so something like this. And then I can move, use the move tools to move it in a little bit, like so, and on the other edge, like so as well. But you can see it doesn't really line up all that well. That is unfortunately uh, because it's it's very difficult to just get the right angle right away. Uh, and then I need to rotate some more and see if I can get it lined up. It's not impossible, it's just it takes quite a bit of time. You can see here, you need to rotate that as well. And then, actually now it's good. So I'll just leave that one, and then I'll show you a different way of doing it. So I take the same one here, just move it to the side, and I'll zero out all of the transform here except the scale. Okay. So I'll have it over here, and I want that to match up to this point here. So I select this and this with Shift, and then I go right-click here, go Edge, grab that one there, and I right click here and go edge and shift select that one there. So I have an edge selected here first and here second. And then I control right click two vertices. So that converts my selection so that I have two vertices here and two vertices over here. Then I can go to the modify, uh, snap align objects and go two points to two points options and I set this to middle so that it'll align right in between two points and then I go apply and this thing is a little funny sometimes it pops sometimes you just need to update viewport but you can see that it moves the object up here and I can just close this go back to object mode select this box here and then I just need to in this case actually go to world and then move it out a little bit and maybe move it over a little bit so I have something like this that worked quite nicely so I get 
these two here done. So I just need for the rest of the house. So I grab this one, duplicate that, move it over here. Um, and then I shift select that one, right click here, go edge, select that one. Oh, I remember, oh, I forgot to hold my shift key. This one first, shift that one, right click, edge, shift, select, right click, edge, shift, select, control, right click, two vertices. And then go to modify, snap, two points to two points. And it should pop, there you go. And then I just grab this here, and I need to scale this so that it fits. So that will be something like that. Go to the move tool that is in world coordinates, so I can move this out a little bit and move it in there a little bit. That was kind of nice. Duplicate that, move it to the side. Select that one, shift select this one, right click, edge. Shift select this one, right click edge, shift select that one, and go modify, <coughs> snap two points to two points, and then go object, grab that one, move this in world space. I need to move this over a little bit, like so, and move it in here a little bit, like so. Let's move it out a little bit again. This is actually okay. The only thing I need is to move it down a little bit. So I move it a little bit down and then I get the problem. So I need to move it out. So there's a little bit of tweaking going on here, but it's, it's not too bad. So this works. Okay, so to do the other side over here, hopefully it's symmetrical. I'll select these two here and use a little trick. If my model was built symmetrically around the center of the world, I can just group these, edit group, then I can duplicate these, edit duplicate, and then I can scale it minus one in the set axis, so I scale it over here, so if I set that to minus one, there you go, they should fit over here as well. So that fixed all of the top parts. The bottom parts here should hopefully be fairly easy to do, so I'll just grab one of these duplicate that. It's mostly to make sure that it has the same size uh, and dimensions. So I move that out here. Hold the C key, middle mouse button, click drag on this one. There we go. Um, there we go. So it snaps to this point. And then I just need to place that in the middle more or less. Make it go like this. That is pretty good. Uh, perhaps it's a little too big, but I'll just move it in a little bit, like that, and then in a little bit like that, there, yeah, good. Then control D to duplicate, move that over here. That is actually good. Shift select both of them, control D, move them down the other end of the house. should be in here somewhere that looks good very nice so the other thing I could do here was um, just take a look at this photo here you can see there's actually a panel going down here on the inside I don't know if I want that but there's this big panel going around the top which is actually kinda nice so perhaps I should do that uh, just do a cube again move it out here and just scale it quite flat there move it up move it in like so and see if that is something I like like there Actually, I forgot something, but I can fix that yet. So you can see, doing this will create... It gives it more detail, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, I need this one. Control 
D. I need to move that over here to make this edge here. There you go. And just move it up a little bit and scale it a little higher. There we go. And duplicate that. Move it to the other side. There we go. I'll just leave it at this actually. So let's see how that looks. Let's try and make it a little ominous here. Let's do a quick window. But as you can see, all of these uh, extra panels add some detail. They add a few shadows here and there. And it all gives it a little more of the believability that you like. So you can you can tweak this, move it in or out like you like you want to, but this is more or less the final part of the house. So the next video will be about texturing the whole house. So